Hey, what's up? This is Paul from 89.5 The Wave. I have the privilege of sitting here with Dynamo Pro's own, the cowboy, Rick Maverick. What's up, man? Oh, nothing much, Paul. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, man. I got, I got to catch your match last night. That was phenomenal. Now, who were you wrestling last night? Uh, I was taking on the, uh, as he likes to call himself, the alternative. I like to call him the alternative douchebag. Um, Ozzy Gallagher. <laughs> and... Uh, at that, that looked like it was a little close for a little while, man. It got a little dicey, but you ended out. You ended up on top of that one. Uh, yeah, um, you know, it, it, it's kind of easy to take the advantage of your opponent, especially when you uh, sneak attacking from behind when he's um, not even looking. Yeah, you know, that might make it a little bit easier. Might give you a little bit of an advantage. He did seem really distracted by everything that was outside of the ring. Um, yeah, Ozzy has a, has a tendency to let the uh, fans get to him sometimes, but. Me, I like to stay focused. I pay attention to my opponent, and usually that's uh, how I usually get my wins. Well, and, you know, you, you talk about the fans, man. I, I haven't been to a lot of local wrestling shows, but, man, the Dynamo crowd last night was just insane, man. They were just yelling and screaming constantly. It was awesome, man. There was a lot of energy in the room, man. Does that, does that help you out when you're up there? Um, yeah, especially at the, uh, the venue that we were at last night, the, uh, we're here being at NatsuCon. Um, I, myself, am actually sponsored by NatsuCon. So, the, basically, this is my fan base. These are the guys that... The fans are behind me the most, and for as loud as they were, because they weren't the typical wrestling fans last night. It was a bunch of con goers coming in and checking out an actual wrestling show. Yeah. So, so you had a lot of people that were like me that either hadn't been to a show in a long time or had never been to a show, and they still managed to ratchet up that level of excitement. Oh yeah, I, I had a lot of people, and from from what I've been told from the con staff, a lot of uh, positive feedback came from last night. Um, a lot of fans really said how they were surprisingly as entertained as they were. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely an entertaining show last night. I have to give you guys that one. Dynamo Pro definitely pulled it out. Um, so how did you get started in this, man? Uh, back um, where I come from in Skull Valley, Arizona, I just started going to a lot of stuff um, down in Phoenix, watching a lot of stuff uh, kind of around the uh, southwest area. Started talking to the wrestlers, talking to the promoters, figuring out what it was I had to do. Started hitting the gym, got into a lot of different training areas. Um, and eventually, I started doing my history on wrestling itself and pretty much figured that St. Louis still has this huge wrestling draw. It, it, it truly might still be one of the purest independent meccas of wrestling out there. So you've been doing this for quite some time now, right? Oh, yeah. I started uh, back in 99 and um, it, it made my way uh, since pretty much just uh, putting this right hand in the guy's face. Well, you know, there's... I mean, it's, it's, for me, that's a difficult way to make a living. I, I talk for a living, so uh, I, I would be a little intimidated by that. Please, my face has already had enough damage. Uh, I, don't, I don't need, it doesn't need any help these days. Um, but so what, I'm trying to think how to put this. Do you have anybody that you really, really want to get into a match with? Is there anybody that you're just like, yeah, I want that guy? Well, naturally, being part of Dynamo, um, the, the one guy you always want to look at to be in a ring with is who the champion is. And from what I understand, uh, you guys at uh, 89.5 are real familiar with Dynamo's current champion, uh, Dirty, Date Dirt, Dirty Jake Durden. Sorry, my voice. Just... Hey, I, un I understand, man. Yeah, um, we, we had uh, an interview with him a little while back. Uh, we had to have some minor studio repairs done afterwards because somebody mentioned Ricky Cruz's name. And and uh, <clears throat> Jake didn't react real well to that. Um, that that kind of a typical thing. I've seen a few interviews with uh, with Jake, and he didn't seem like uh, he's a real happy guy sometimes. Um, I, I think Jake has a lot of problems, which I I'm not a medical licensed person to figure out. But um, no, I've actually been in the ring a couple times with uh, Durden. Uh, we have a bit of a history. Usually, that history is. Um, as soon as my back's turned, he, he hits me behind with something. That's not a good history, I would say, but uh, hopefully you end up coming out on top. Yeah, um, unfortunately not, uh, but the way, the way I look at it, I, I take it as a compliment. 
because um, if Durden is that worried that he's got to hit me from behind to stop me, then that means he can't face me one-on-one. -on -one. Wow. That sounds like one hell of a challenge, man. I hope you get that match. I think that would be awesome. And if you do, I'd like to come out and see it, man. Uh, Paul, you're more than welcome to come out to any Dynamo show. Um, our next one's going to be August 20th. Um, at the Douglas Club in Wood River, Illinois. Come on out, check it out. Um, like I always say, knuckle up and put them down. All right. That's Rick Maverick from Dynamo Pro Wrestling. I'm Paul for 89.5 The Wave, KCFV. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. All right, man.